If you don't want to miss anything, don't turn off your radio. Several law enforcement agencies today were rounding up 50 people in a 10-month investigation of a drug trafficking network. North Georgia's News Talk, AM 550 and FM 102.9 WDUN. the game on 22 minutes after 7 o'clock. We've got four sets of two tickets to Marketplace to give away. Four sets of two tickets to Marketplace to give away. Marketplace happening this Friday and Saturday at the Gainesville Civic Center. 70 vendors from more than eight states will be there. It is a festive holiday shopping event. It is the perfect way to kick off the holiday shopping season. You don't want to miss it. Benefiting Safe Kids Gainesville and Hall County. Complimentary valet parking comes with these tickets as well. Four sets of two. We're going to take the first four callers into 770-535-2911. First four callers into 770-535-2911. We'll each win two tickets to Marketplace. Again, Gainesville Civic Center this Friday and Saturday. Each ticket is at MIT-1. If you don't win tickets, it's a $5 charge to get in. So these are primetime tickets here, folks. First four callers, 770-535-2911. While we're waiting on the phone lines to light up, as I'm sure that they're about to, Bria Bush, Buford softball player. She's a junior pitcher. She's our WDUN Athlete of the Week presented by Burger King because of her performance in Columbus leading her team team to the seventh straight state title. She won all the games in Columbus so her team can get that win. Scattered three hits, worked around three errors in route to a four nothing win over Central Carrollton to capture their seventh straight state title. I caught up with Bria Bush earlier today. We began our conversation by my simply saying, how good does this one feel? Um, this one was a great one because I mean, it's just, I actually, each one is just so special because each year is a different year, and we don't look at it as, you know, this is seven state championship, which we do know, which is awesome, but we look at each year as a different year and a new year, and it's just as exciting as every other year because it's a new team, and it's, that team only has one chance to win. As a junior on the team, what was your mindset uh, going into Columbus, knowing knowing that you're one of the leaders, knowing that, that you need to perform your best for you all to get a state championship? Um, well, my mindset every year is I want to pull it out for the seniors. The seniors deserve that last chance to get a state championship, you know, under the belt. And so every year I go out there, not for me, not but for my team, and I just got there knowing that if I if I stress out, that's going to make everything worse. We have to go out there and play how we know how to play. And if we start getting too excited or too overly nervous, then we're not going to play to our best of ability. And so if I go out there with just a clear mind and just play like I have for my whole life, then I know I'm probably going to have a better outcome than if I go out there saying, oh, my gosh, I have to win another one. I just caught there knowing this is what I do. This is what I do every day. Just do the same thing. That's a really nice segue to my next question, and it's this. Not not just how did you get started playing softball, uh, but how did you become a pitcher in, in fast-pitch softball? Um, it's actually a funny story. I never was a pitcher, and when I was younger, I saw my mom get hit in the face. So I was always scared to, of the ball. So they put a mask on me, and I went out there, and then I went to a camp at uh, when I was younger, and we were just doing pitching drills just so they could show us, you know, what it's about and see if any of us would like to do it. And one of the coaches went to my mom and was like, are you Bria's mom, and told my mom that she thought I had great potential and she should put me in pitching lessons. And so I went to my first pitching coach, and ever since then, I loved it. Well, you're definitely an exciting pitcher to watch, and luckily we get another year with you. Uh, Bria Bush, our WDUN Athlete of the Week, presented by Burger King. We're continuing our conversation with her on Game On. What is it like, Bria, to be a part of the Buford softball program, this softball program that has done so many wonderful things, not just over the last seven years, but game in and game out. What is that like for you? Um, it's actually the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, it's not just a team. It's a family. When I'm out there with them, it's the best time of the day. That's what I look forward to every day is being with my family and doing what I love to do. And I... I came up here with the mindset of high school ball is just high school ball. And I got here, and high school ball is the best thing 
I could ever ask for. It is so much fun. I have developed developed so many friendships and everything with people. It's a sport, and it's a sport that I love to play. And with these group of girls and these group of coaches, it is it is the best thing. It is so much fun, and I can't even explain how much like I look forward to it. And I look forward to the practices. And some girls don't get that opportunity. They're like, oh, I have high school practice day. And I actually, I wait all day long to get out there with my friends. And the stress of push for leads when I'm out there with all of them, it just they all make me laugh and smile. And it's just the best time of the day. That says a lot about the program that Tony Wolf has built there, that you all enjoy practice as much as you enjoy games, as much as you enjoy championships, speaks very, very highly of the program. We want to wrap up with this, Bria. Not, you know, Morgan Walters going off to Missouri, and that shows the continued individual success of, of Buford softball players. But, you know, you've had uh, former teammates uh, or girls you looked up to go to Georgia Tech, go to Tennessee, some of the preeminent softball Division One programs in the nation. What do you want to do? What does the future look like for you? Um, well, I actually am committed to Tennessee, and I committed about a year ago, so I'll get to play with Lexi again. Um, and I just think it's just really cool when I got here to be playing with athletes as good as, like, some of those girls. And, it, like, I really looked up to them. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am because they taught me how to, you know, how, what be for softball is about and how to be a leader and – how to enjoy being at the Buford field with my family. So without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, I really appreciate everything they've done for me. One more follow-up question. What is it about Tennessee? You, know, you think about Tennessee, and it's a women's basketball-driven uh, uh, area. And then one of your former classmates, Andrea Carter, up there as well, mm-hmm. doing very well for the basketball program. Obviously, football coming along with Coach Butch Jones. But a lot of people don't realize how good the softball is at, at Tennessee. What is it about uh, Knoxville? What is it about the Lady Vols program that made you want to go become a Lady Vol? Well, I went up there for a visit, and I kind of felt the same feeling as I felt when I was with my Beaver family. It was a family atmosphere. Everyone there was all about each other, and the coaches were just amazing, and the girls and everything, they just, they made it feel just like the family I have here, and I I really loved that about it. Congratulations once again to Bria Bush. Our WDUN Athlete of the Week, presented by Burger King. Well-deserved young lady going off to Tennessee and already knows this. As a junior in high school, she will be playing softball for the Lady Vols. The teammate she alluded to, Lexi Overstreet, currently one of the stars for the Lady Vol softball team, a former Buford player as well. Vicki Thomason of Cleveland, Heidi Bowie of Gainesville, Carol Tullis of Gainesville, three winners of two tickets each to Marketplace this weekend. We had a lot of hang- we had a lot of callers hang up just because we couldn't get them in time. 770-535-2911. We've still got two tickets to give away. Thanks for calling. Thanks for listening. We'll be back after the break.